ancient ancestors of Mesoamerica and Egypt may have escaped from a lost continent in the Pacific Ocean. Even with the most advanced technologies the world has ever seen and millions of scientists and researchers working constantly to understand our planet and its rich history, there are still many mysteries that humans can't seem to figure out. One of which is the puzzle of the lost continent of Mu. Some scientists believe not only that this continent once existed but that the ancient humans who lived there may have created many of the incredible archaeological sites we admire around the world. The scientist who discovered the lost continent of Mu. In the late 1800s, a British-American travel writer by the name of Augustus Laplongeon declared that he believed in a lost continent that once sat in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Laplongeon was a pioneer in Maya studies, the ancient culture of what is now Central America. He claimed that the Mayan sacred book, the Popol Vuh, explained that their people immigrated from the land of Mu after a natural disaster destroyed the landmass. The ancient civilization that populated the world. The researcher explained that, through his translation of the Popol Vuh, he was able to deduce that the people who once lived on the continent of Mu were not only the original ancestors of the Maya, but also the Egyptians. He said that the sacred book mentioned a woman named Queen Mu, who founded the civilization that was later known as Egypt. James Churchward expanded upon the continent of Mu theory. Not everyone agreed with Laplongeon's theory. However, his friend James Churchward, a writer from Scotland, was absolutely convinced. Churchward became obsessed with the lost land of Mu and went on to write a series of books throughout the 1920s and 1930s on the subject. In addition to Laplongeon's supposed evidence, Churchward collected his own information while traveling the world, including clay tablets he found in India. Finding Evidence of a Nagamaya Language On one of his many expeditions, Churchward befriended a high-ranking priest in India. This priest showed Churchward a set of ancient clay tablets with visible text that only three people in the entire country could read. Churchward and the priest believed that the text on what they called the Nakal tablets was written in the long-lost Nagamaya language, which they hypothesized originated on the continent of Mu. Translating the tablets confirmed Churchward's theory. After painstakingly translating the tablets, Churchward announced that he had concrete evidence that Mu absolutely existed. He also declared that the clay tablets depicted the geographical and population details his friend Laplongeon had never found, as well as what had happened to the landmass and its many inhabitants. The Geography of the Lost Continent of Mu Churchward explained that the Lost Continent of Mu, sometimes called Lemuria, was a giant landmass that sat in the middle of what is now the Pacific Ocean somewhere between 12,000 and 50,000 years ago. He said the continent would have stretched from Hawaii north toward Easter Island, southeast toward Australia, and northeast Southeast Asia. Churchward believed it could have covered 5,000 miles from east to west and over 3,000 miles from north to south. Some 64 million people could have lived on Mu. According to the tablets, they were inscribed by a person living in the place where, man, first appeared, Mu. The text also explained that at its height, around 64 million people were living on the giant island. At almost double the size of the United States, the lost continent of Mu would certainly have had space for such an expansive population, and it's impossible to know whether they lived in city-like metropolises or rural villages, but Churchward was utterly convinced they did live there. What happened to the lost continent of Mu? After hearing about Mu's enormous size and extremely large population, the next question will always be, what happened to the continent of Mu? Churchward reports that the tablets explain the end of Mu well, the text says, Mu, was completely obliterated in almost a single night. The broken land fell into that great abyss of fire, and was covered, by 50 million square miles of water. An island made of granite sank during a natural disaster. According to Churchward, the island of Mu was mostly made of granite, so when extensive volcanic eruptions sent explosive gases into the honeycomb-style structure of the rock, the entire continent crumbled below and sank to the bottom of the sea. Because the continent and all of its inhabitants were destroyed almost instantly, Churchward argues that only the very few people who had previously left Mu and traveled to Mesoamerica or Egypt were left to tell the tale of Mu. Is there any physical evidence for the continent of Mu? While incredibly interesting, the so-called evidence that both Laplongeon and Churchward have presented is circumstantial at best. 
so far, no tangible evidence of the lost continent of Mu has been found. Some say that Nan Madal ruins in Micronesia, which is an exceptionally complex set of human-made stone islands that float on the water, are an example of the Mu people and their ingenuity. But that's only a theory because no one truly knows who built Nan Madal. Researchers will continue to search to prove this myth true. Although some people have completely dismissed the theory of the lost continent of Mu, others believe that Churchward and Le Plongin were right and have now dedicated themselves to finding the evidence to prove it. In fact, some researchers believe they've already found at least part of the island of Mu on the floor of the Indian Ocean. However, they will have to find a great deal more before the entire world believes this wild story.